Welcome to video PT02, our second video in the series PT for pivot tables. In this video, we are going to see how we can do refresh, update, and change of data source in pivot tables. Five topics will be discussed. First one, how we can change values inside the data set. Second, how we can copy and change the design of the pivot table. Third, we'll look at how we can add column or change the column header for the original data set of the pivot table. And fourth, how we can add new data using names instead of ranges. And finally, how we can use tables functionality or Excel tables with pivot tables. In this Excel sheet, we have the January sales extracted from AAA bike shop. And we have, we want to create a pivot table based on this data set. We select any cell inside the data range and we use the shortcut alt and v the same window will open again but this time it selected the range because we are selecting one cell inside the range so it's automatically selected the range and it will leave us to determine exactly where we, where we want to locate it and i will select existing worksheet and i will put the cursor inside location and i will select uh, i6 and press on OK, the pivot table will create it and we have on the right hand side the field list. I want to give a meaningful name to this pivot table. I will call it Gen Sales PT. From the field list, I will take the date in the filter area and we'll put the channel in the rows and I will put the sales value in the values. It will create a breakdown or summarization of the grand total of the sales categorized or summarized by the channel. Now I want to give a quick number format, select any cell, right click, format numbers. I'll go directly to currency, zero decimal places and click on OK. And now what we want to do, the first thing that we want to discuss, if we change after creating the pivot table, if we change any value inside our data set, what will happen? So I have this cell that uh, colored by yellow. I will add 1 million to this cell. So I will type select and type plus 1 million and press enter. And now you have the value increased by 1 million. Look at your pivot table. Nothing happened. No change. Why? Because we have to refresh. Whenever you change any value inside the data set, you have to refresh your pivot table in order to get the effect inside your summary. How we can do this refresh? We have three ways to refresh. We can select any cell inside the pivot table. You go to analyze ribbon and you have the refresh button here, or you can just right click inside any cell inside the pivot table and select refresh. Or you can just use the keyboard Alt F5 and notice what will happen to the grand total. It will increase by 1 million. I'll press now Alt F5. You can see now your data increased by 1 million. The summary increased to 4.5 million instead of 3.5 million. You can reverse this by do, just doing undo. I will press on Control Z to undo. The first un undo will undo the refresh that we just made. So this will go back to 3.5. Control Z, yes, now it's 3.5. Another Control Z to reverse the action that we did, the addition of 1 million. Control Z, it's now back to the original value. Second topic that we want to discuss is how we can copy the pivot table and change the design of the pivot table. In this report, we have a breakdown of the sales by channel and suppose that we want to do another report but summarized by region. So I can just select the entire uh, report and press Control C to copy. I'll go down to I35, uh, Control V to paste, and now I have two identical versions of my report. I have also a new uh, field list for the new report. I can just uncheck the channel and check the region, and now I have the new breakdown by region. So I have two identical reports uh, or two uh, similar reports one by the categorized by region and one categorized the first one categorized by channel and now the, th the third action what if i want to add a new column to my data set and include it in my pivot table so let's try this i will go up 
to my data set I will add another column let's say I want to report the sales after discount and assume that I want to take 10% discount on all of the sales value so I will give a new header name which is discounted sales and I will multiply every value times uh, 0 0.9 to take the 10% discount I will double click here to copy uh, all the way down let's go now to the new pivot table down here and see what will happen actually nothing happened I don't have the new field here because it is in column G and my data is only my data range is only up to column F so I want to change my data source let's check from here from analyze ribbon I have in the data section I have the icon change data source click on this it will open the change pivot table data source window you can find here the original data up to F it's from B to F if I want to include G as well I can carefully select the F backspace and type G and click on OK and if I check now my pivot table you can see the discounted sales in the pivot table field list appears down here I can just check it will be now selected in your pivot table right click number format currency zero and click on OK now you have the discounted sales included but what if I feel like this header is too long I want to cut it a little bit short so I'll go up again and instead of writing the full discounted sales the full word of discounted I will type only the first four letters so it will be disk underscore and sales and I'll press enter let's see what will happen here nothing happened still I have the same name the same original name discounted sales so I want to refresh I will use the uh, keyboard alt f5 oops what happened column disappeared if I check again I have the new column here discounted sales because it is in the new data range in the range uh, up to G however because the name header changed it this disappeared from my selection but the new name appeared here so I have to reselect it again so I will check the discounted sales and you can see you lost also the number formatting so I have to redo the number formatting I will choose currency and zero decimal places now in this pivot table I have the data only for January sales if you check the dates from here you will see that you have only January suppose that you want to include also February and you have the data for February in this sheet February 2018 so let's take another copy from this report I'll just copy select enter uh, report and copy I'll go down here to Jan and Feb report and paste and now I want to include February as well so the first step I need to take the February information uh, below the Jan information so I have to go to this sheet and select from B3 just after the headers because I have the headers already included I will select B3 the top uh, left cell I will press on shift and control and right arrow to select the entire row you hold shift and control and press on down arrow to select all the way down control C to copy I'll go to January I will go to the left the most left column column B I will uh, press on control and down arrow to select the first empty cell control V to paste so you have now January under January you have February information but you have also to copy to update the calculated field all the way down so I'll double click it will copy down up to the end of the report if you go up to your pivot table you can see your data is not updated even if you refresh it will not be updated because the range now extended below the original uh, range selected for the pivot table so I can just go again to analyze and do change data source and reselect the range down to include January as well but before doing this I can do something different this time I can just select any cell inside the data range and press on control A to select the entire range and go to the name box here and just select and I will give it a name I will give it name like Feb underscore Jan and press enter now you have named range called Feb underscore Jan if you just select the down arrow in the name box here you will see the only option that we have Jan Feb and Jan if you select it it will select the entire range again I will select the Feb Jan from here from the name box and control C to copy and I will go down to my pivot table now I will go to 
analyze change data source and instead of reselect the range I can just paste control V to paste and select OK and now your data range automatically updated to include February as well if you check from the filter here you have Jan and if you scroll down you will have Feb as well and you can see the numbers already updated here the last section in this video is how to work with tables so I have the same data range here the January sales but this time I will uh, convert this data range into a table to do this using the keyboard I will select any cell inside the data range and I will press on Control and T this small window will open create table it will just confirm the range and ask you if the first row is containing the headers which is uh, the case now I will press on OK it will open the design ribbon and now I can give a meaningful name to my table I'll call it all sales and press on enter and now from the same ribbon design ribbon you have a new option here called summarize with pivot table so you need to go to insert or use even the shortcut I can just press on this uh, option and it will open the create pivot table window it, you can you can see that it's already selected the all sales range and I can choose my location existing worksheet and I will put it let's say in I8 and press on OK now you have the pivot table created let me give a name for this pivot table as well I'll call it all sales PT for pivot table and enter let's do similar pivot table date in the filter um, region in the rows sales in the values right click number format currency and zero decimal places to do to put some number formatting now let's try to add do the same action to add the discounted sales I will select the first empty column which is column G I will type the header discount disk underscore sales enter see what happened now the range expanded automatically the table expanded automatically and even if you want to calculate the new formula which is the sales times 0.9 when you press enter and you did the formula in the first row in your table the formula will copy down automatically till end and you can see because you are working in a table and now if you select your pivot table you don't you don't need to change your data source you can just right click and refresh and you can see the new field appeared here you just select and you put your number formatting and you have your report now ready and updated which is very good actually and even if you want to update February now if you check here you can see only we have January data you can go to February information it's already selected control C to copy we go back to January table and you go down to the first empty cell control V to paste and look what will happen if we, when you press control V again the range or the table area is expanded automatically and also the formula copied and included in your data range as well and if you go up to your report now only one refresh alt f5 and you can see data updated if you check your filter for dates you can see you have jan and then you have february everything sorted out so we did all the action that we did in the past four steps but it's it is much easier using tables uh, working with pivot table is so easy to analyze your data but even with tables is much much easier lot of topics that we discussed we discussed how we change value inside the data set how we copy and change the pivot table design what will happen when we add new columns or change the column headers how we can add new data using name and ranges and finally how this works with the tables instead of ranges or names thank you very much for your time please stay tuned for the next video PT03 and bye